the actual Space Shuttle Atlantis, this thing is gigantic. And you can see, it's been to space 33 times. You can see the burn marks from re-entry, all the different individual panels. Some of these panels break off when they open up the wings and they have to replace them every time. Look at these engines over here. These engines are gigantic. This is unbelievable. You can fit two of me in here. They're that big, honestly. <laughs> Just being this close to something that's actually been in space and is this big. In fact, let's go over and check out the engines a little closer. I mean, over here, we got a cockpit that you guys can go in. We got a replica of the Hubble Space Telescope that they brought up on the shuttle. You get this close to an engine and see it. All the information, touch screen away. You can almost touch it. But I won't, because the PR person told me specifically, Jake, please don't touch any of the things. So, it's just incredible, all the different stuff, just in this one building. And this is one exhibit on the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Just one of them. So let's go and take some more looks around, eh? This is the actual wheels Atlantis used on the last mission. These are the ones, right here. You can tell, oh, and the skin marks still on these bad boys. Woo! Beautiful! And here we are, one of the most amazing exhibits out here. We have the Atlantis, but more importantly, we have John McBride. John, hello. Jake, how's it going? Good to be with this morning. John, you're a real astronaut. That I hope so. <laughs> that is incredible. Tell me about yourself. Oh, wow. I go back to my childhood in West Virginia where I. I was amazed and awed by Chuck Yeager and aviation, all those kind of things, and always wanted to be one of those guys. About 13 years in the Navy, uh, NASA said we're looking for people to fly space shuttles. And there you go. Here I am. <laughs> so I put my application in with several thousand other people and was lucky enough to be selected in 1978 in the very first class of space shuttle astronauts. Wow. So you actually have gone to space. Yes, I've been there. Wow. That been is there and back. And yeah. you're, you were a pilot. You flew one of these. Yes, I did. I was a pilot of the Challenger. Wow. Uh, was scheduled to be commander of the Columbia on a couple of flights. We didn't get to do those when we lost the challenges. So tell me a little bit about uh, the Atlantis. Any cool facts that you'd like to share? Yeah, I think people? the Atlantis flew 34 times in space. 34 times? Including the very last flight that landed here at Kennedy in July of 2011. I think it traveled some 137 million miles wow. in its lifetime. And, uh, so it's one of the workhorses of our program. It deployed the Hubble telescope that we have a mock full-scale model here. I have no idea that yeah. it did that. That is incredible. You can actually walk under this magnificent machine and see it up close and personal. Now, people that actually come to the park are able to meet you, right? This is not just a special thing. Uh, Back in 2000, I uh, was president of all the astronauts and cosmonauts of the world, and we were looking for some way to get our word out, and I came to the uh, ownership down and asked them if we could start a uh, meet an astronaut program. Yeah. And so in 2000, we started, I think we had two or three weeks per year where we'd have an astronaut come in and talk. Now it's an every day of the year program. Every single day, so? You can come down, I'll, I or I think I have 40, I, I scheduled all the astronauts, we have 40 I think this year that will cycle through during the 52 weeks. That is unbelievable. Okay, so come to Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, get to meet an astronaut, get to see the real show. Have lunch business. too, you can have, have lunch, lunch with a dine with an astronaut. Eat. Do you know anything about video games, John? I know some, but, but you want to talk to my kids or my grandkids if you really want to get an expert in it. Perfect, that's great. Well, uh, since you don't know that much, I'm one of the best video game players uh -oh. out there. We're in uh, trouble. Professionally, and I thought maybe we'd do a little contest. Now, you've landed one of these guys in real life, right? and I'm good at games, so I thought maybe we'd hit up the VR simulation and see who could land the space shuttle better. We'll give it a go. All right, sounds good. Let's go do it. All right. 